Hey guys, welcome back to Detroit Garage. It's another Saturday and another dyno day for the uh, Dino Mule. It's a 1988 Detroit 453T Silver Series. I yanked it out of a junkyard all oh, three months ago and then restored it, rebuilt it. Um, and now we're trying to get 275 to 300 horse out of this and relatively smoke free. So there's a lot of work to do to obtain those goals, but uh, I'll persevere step by step and see if that can't be accomplished. Uh, so since Wednesday, I, I did the other dyno on Wednesday, I've added a drive pressure gauge, just kind of clamped it on temporary. I'll eventually put it in here somewhere. Um, so, There's the drive pressure line here. Just goes through some copper coiling and out to that gauge. Here's that EGT probe. The EGT didn't seem to work very well and I went and used a torch on it, exercised it up to 1200 degrees and we'll see what it does today. I have ordered a new gauge uh, just in case this one's not very accurate. This turbocharger I've cobbled together 66 millimeter wheel, like 66 and a half, and that's 64 and a half turbine wheel. Ah, it's too big for this fueling. I'm trying to light it, but it's uh, it hasn't lit on the uh, 85cc injectors. So we'll see what it does with these. I also wrapped the uh, exhaust manifold with heat tape. And I've got a blanket for the turbo as well, and that's on the way. Should be here in a couple of days. I've ordered a uh, Garrett T04E Chinese uh, turbo with a 62 millimeter housing and a 61 compressor housing. 61 to 63, I think it's just about perfect. So I can uh, move things around. I can put that compressor on this turbo and, and vice versa and work around here. I also have a K27. The K27 has a 60 millimeter compressor and a 59 millimeter turbine wheel. I've ordered a V-band clamp for that and I'm just waiting on that stuff to arrive. And then I'll, I'll weld up the uh, V-band onto the, the uh, K27 and then try that turbo as well. We're going to run diesel, a few pulls on diesel. And then I've got the trusty veg warming up nicely. We're gonna try veg oil again and see if it runs on that. And the reason I'm doing this, uh, I run my truck daily on veg oil and it's got seven A77s. Those injectors are out, of, are out of a 71 series. It runs perfect, beautiful. Uh, on veg oil, it doesn't know the difference. So. If I'm going to run these injectors and swap them into my truck, they have to run veg oil or else I won't do it. And same goes with this. If I can't run veg in these injectors, I'm not putting the engine in the Diamond T with those injectors. Um, so we'll keep testing.
connection wasn't working because I wasn't consuming any meth. So I just jumped this and we'll see. Nothing. So we're going to pull that injector off and see what's going on there. Yeah, the uh, injector's not spraying. We'll get some more power out of her now. All right, we should get better numbers now that the water meth is working. Uh, that wasn't working throughout the whole uh, the diesel run and the veg run. So now we're on veg and we're going to do some pulls with the water meth working. some serious <laughs> on veg red beautiful uh, I like what I saw there we broke uh, 510 foot-pounds of torque and uh, I'll do the calculation when I get home and I'll put it up on the uh, description of, or I'll put it up on the video of the horsepower now I'm correcting horsepower here with that large fan and the alternator running. I'm adding 20 horse, uh, 20 horse to the uh, horsepower, but not for the torque. I'm, I'll have to go figure out if I need to adjust. Maybe you guys know. Let me know in the comments below. Do you add a, a correction factor on the torque as well? Because if so, uh, I'm pulling more torque than I'm reporting. So. I don't know. Anyway, let me know. So we're on diesel again. Uh, the water math's working. We just drank a half a gallon just doing that run. And I didn't see it break 900, 900 on the EGTs, maybe 850 to 900. So happy times. Again, the drive pressure air box air box is the same almost identical uh, very close so I think we've got this one damn near dialed in with the 9290s I was surprised to see that anyway we'll do a run on diesel now with the water meth and see what it's like
Well, guys, that was an awesome run. I, uh, it really ran well with those 9290s, I have to say. It pulled uh, 540 foot-pounds, and I'll work out the, um, the horsepower uh, in the video once I review it. Um, and even the uh, veg oil, it ran uh, 505, 510 foot-pounds on veg oil. So, really happy. That turbo looks like it's okay with the... Um, here, let me shut the air off just a sec. Yeah, that turbo, I think we're, uh, we've got it lit. It's uh, within five PSI of boost pressure and air box. It's almost even with the air box. And the, um, so air box and boost uh, dry pressure. So air box and dry pressure should be the same and they're damn near identical. And then the, um, Boost pressure is five PSI less than the uh, air box. So it is close. It's within five PSI of the, uh, the air box or the turbo, either one. I mean, it's, I think we got her dialed in. Bigger injectors next and I, uh, <laughs> I think I got her nailed. I think I just wasted some money on a Chinese turbo. Anyway, we'll try different compressors in this thing, and uh, yeah, I like it. It runs really sweet. So, um, I hope you guys enjoy that. For the next dyno session, I know I keep on saying this, we're going to uh, repair this tack. And then, I won't have this in time. I think this won't be in for another couple of weeks. But that was working pretty nice. I have to say, it looked good. I didn't break 900. So, uh, yeah, even 950 is fine for short periods. You know, you're not sitting there at 950 forever. But it really woke up with this, uh, this last set of injectors. It, it, uh, <laughs> it really woke up. Really happy with those. Wow. And the smoke really isn't that bad. I think I can clean that up with uh, an end blower and um, end blower and a bypass perhaps. Well, there you have it guys, another dyno session. This one went really well. We made some really nice power. I'll figure it out when I get home. Very happy indeed. Um, yeah, so for the next dyno session, uh, I'm going to play around with injector timing. So right now I have 1.47 uh, inches on the injector timing. And a few of you guys have been asking what, uh, what is the injector height, how do you advance it, how do you retard it. I'll make a separate video on that. I'll pull uh, some injectors out and we'll go through uh, a whole injector. You know, we'll take it apart, we'll look at it, you know, describe how it works, and then show how to uh, how the uh, the different um, injector uh, tools change, you know, height changes. So, again, that was really, really, really nice. So, I hope you guys enjoyed that, and uh, we'll catch you on the next video. Take care.